Nobody has the fucking deep knowledge that I have when it comes to your favorite influences online. I'm Baby Boy Jr. I'm the shapeshifter. I sound like any of your favorite artists, right? I Put me in any who, room. Who have you worked with? Bro, who have I worked if, with? If, if you can put out names. I know you have. All right. But if the you only can put person out I have not worked with that I want to work with, just mm -hmm. to put it into perspective, mm -hmm. is Drake. All right? Why? Because a lot of people say I sound like Drake and they say that I'm a competition to Drake, but I'm actually not. I'm just trying you're to a be a like songwriter Drake. for you're, Drake. You're, you're a tiger like Drake. Bro, I write songs for Drake. I'm mm. from Toronto. I sound like Drake. I'm trying to write songs for Drake. And nobody has gotten me to that position because they're all so egotistical and they hear my songs and they feel threatened. Oh, I'm not getting a piece? Bro, I'm not giving you Drake's number. Bitch, I have Drake's number. I have a team of people that... Do all the funny shit for me on the internet. I can get anybody's number. I have all their numbers, but I'm not going to invade somebody's privacy. So yeah, when that, it comes that. to the music shit, I've worked with everybody that I want to work with. I've wrote songs. I've sold songs for $80,000. I've worked with fucking... Bro, if I tell you a name right now, what is that going to add value to the conversation? I'm just telling you right now. I, I, would, person, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. The only person... I want to work with mm -hmm. and that I have not worked with is Drake. All right. When it comes to the marketing side, I've worked with people like Lil TJ, French Montana, The Weeknd, Beyonce. I can say those things because guess what? I never signed a fucking NDA. But when it comes to Woo! selling my songs, no, I wrote NDAs for that. But I did marketing, bro. I sold fake streams to a lot of these things, bro. A lot of these artists that you see online, guess what? Shit's not there, bro. You know what I mean? A lot of times, they're just going to run up some devices or whatever and bombshell. That's the reality. Let me tell you something. A lot of the music industry right now runs off of marketing. So if you're doing music marketing, you understand the music game. People taking shots at you, bro. bro. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm telling you guys the game right now. You guys need to understand something about the music game. The music game is not for fucking brokies. I spent $2.1 million in 2021 to maintain my fucking reputation in Miami. Miami is the most expensive place to fucking live. That's why I live here. And this is the That's most expensive city shit. in Miami. That's why You're in the shit. most expensive city I've in housed, Miami. I've housed millionaires, bro. I've taken care of millionaires. I've made people millionaires, bro. Y'all can't tell me nothing, bro. When it comes to knowing <laughs> people from the back end, knowing people and their lives and who the fuck they are and who they really are, I see everything. <laughs> I got hackers, bitch. I got everything. We got a community called OwlSec, right? They grandfathered me in, bro. I was nothing when I joined that community. I know all the secrets now. I know everything. The knowledge is out there. You want to join OwlSec? Join OwlSec. It's a free Discord. Baby, this is the internet. Baby Boy Jr. coming out from nowhere. People might not like him, but guess what? The more you hate me, the more I'll show up on your For You page. Bitch. You know what I like about this guy, man? I want you to know something. Uh, I'm a cocky-ass individual, and he's not the cockiest person I put in this chair. But he runs his fucking mouth. He runs it well. I want people to understand. Anyone I put out here, I verify. This guy, this guy makes money. This guy fucking is connected. Listen, bro, if you meet me in your life, you got a 50% chance of seeing my bank account. So don't fuck it up, all right? Because that might be some motivation for your bitch ass. <laughs> Matter of fact, my fucking bank account, all right, is not even my main fucking net worth. And that shit will motivate you, bro, because you a bitch. People want to know what your group's called. My group is called OwlSec, bro. Get your facts right. Join OwlSec. Shout out to Zero Day. Shout out to Senior Ho. Shout out to Jimmy Did It. Shout out to Monty Did It. All these guys run the internet. They run the internet. If you join their community, they're going to teach you how to learn the back end, how to learn all these secret things that Junior, Baby Boy Junior knows. How's Junior rich? How does he have access to hackers? Owl sec. All right. You got to understand something. And, and, I would and, never, and you're also. I would never speak about this if, mm -hmm. if it wasn't on kick. I would never say this shit because this shit can get me in a lot of shit, bro. So you guys 
better fucking listen to what I'm saying and actually take it serious and move forward with understanding these things because online, there are people way more powerful you than you can take you away in a matter of seconds. I could take your password in a matter of seconds. That could leak photos of your naked cock that you have on your phone, you little bitch ass nigga, in two seconds. All right? So, well, whoever's in chat, bro, we can find you, bro. Like, you, you really think I can't download the whole log of the chat and find your bitch ass? How many people are in chat right now? Uh, well, Come on, bro. Bubba, we'll Stop Twitter playing, bro. Uh, man, people, Stop playing. People say you play, you can't do shit. People say you're fucking full of shit. Now, let me tell you something. You know what my nickname for this guy is? The Eraser. That's that's my I nickname for you. Camera. Find a that, 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 that's my nickname for you, the Eraser, because you can literally make people disappear online. Bro, I'm with you now, so I'm safe, bro. I'm not going nowhere. After this podcast, I'm sticking around, bro, because it's not safe anymore in the world, bro. Right now, we're really entering an era where the real are going to have to survive, bro. And I'm as real as they come, bro. I'm not a fucking internet boy. I'm as real as they come. I'm rich in real life, bitch. Rich in real life. Do you understand what that means? I make money every day. Daily income is spent, not my savings. What? You consider a million dollars a lot of money? Fuck that. A million dollars is 20 <laughs> grand to me, bitch. 20 grand. Look at, look at the inflation of gold from 1963. An ounce of gold was 33 bucks in 1963. An ounce of gold is $1,900 today. That's an increase of 54%. That means that a million dollars today is like $20,000 in 1963. A million dollars to me is $20,000 because my grandparents right, birthed my parents in 1965. My journey started when my parents started. Because when I look at my empire, I look at what, what my mom, my, my dad has built. And I'm trying to add to that. So when I look at a million dollars, that's not going to benefit them. You think my parents look at a million dollars and they're fucking happy? How much gold can that buy me? Nothing. Nothing. About 55 ounces. That's nothing. That's chump change, bro. That's chump change. Change the way you think about money. For real. We live in different times right now. This is how you have to think. And what, what would you, what, what would you, what, what would you say is a decent amount of money? 30 million. 30 mil? Yeah. 30 million. Because I think... What, what, tell me what fuck you money is. Because... Uh, 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 because Okay, fuck uh, you uh, money uh, is being able to spend like three grand in a day and open up all the bridges in Miami and make the traffic wait. That's an example of fuck you money. Fuck you money is being able to go into the jeweler and like, like disrespect him and he gives you the worst price and you still pay it and you make him feel like a little bitch. Right? Like, fuck you money is you could fly out a girl that is dating someone famous take them somewhere like the Middle East, shit on them, and then you ruin their entire reputation. Just you know that, and nobody else knows that, and that's fuck you money. You just spent that money just to have that power in your mind. Fuck you money is doing things that a lot of people are not necessarily going to know about, but you just do it. How much money do you need for someone to have fuck you money? Because here in Miami, I think you need maybe about 30 mil. In Houston, New York, maybe it's like 50 mil. What, what do you think is a good depends, amount for depends. fuck you money? It depends on what you're trying to do. Like, if I'm trying to punch somebody in the face and, and get out of jail free card, like, that's going to cost a, a bit of money. If I'm trying to drive around with no fucking license plate, that's going to cost a bit of money. If, if I'm going to go into an NBA game and, you know, fuck around, like, that's going to cost me. That's prices. You can't fuck around and find out in, in the NBA game because you're going to get banned, bro. Like, that's, there's no joke with that. You can't play around with shit like that. So... It really depends, you know. The fuck you money is like, it stops at a certain level because, like you said, 30 million is way more than enough, bro. I can drive around a car with no plates. I can fucking run every red light. Mm -hmm. I might get thrown in jail, but I'm coming out the next day. I might get fucking deported, but I'm going to live good in another country. I might fucking, you know, end up having to live on an island, but shit, I'm, I'm rich. I'm good. So fuck you money can really, like, displace you if you're using it all the time and it's not, it's not the best thing to have. It's not the best mindset to have with money, you know? I really, really try to tell people, like, when it comes to money, you have to think of it as systems instead of, like, how much money do I have and what can I spend on? Because if you have a system that makes you 30 grand a day, that, to me, is worth more than $20 million. I would take that. Listen to what he right said. Now. Listen to what he said. I would take He would rather system. take 30K a day yeah. yes. than fucking how much? $20 million. $20 million. Yep. So 30K a day is basically almost a million a fucking month. Yeah. Almost a million a month. So he's telling you yep. what 
makes logical fucking sense. You know why? Because I could spend that $30,000 today and go and network with everyone in Miami and invite them and take care of them and close millions of dollars in deals, probably $50, $100 million in deal flow in that one day versus having $20 million and like bearing the risk of security. Because guess what? If I receive $20 million right now, the government's coming after me, right? I'm getting fucked. And, and that's the Canadian and government. They want their share. They want me, baby, for real. And when I get that money, it's over. Like, that's why I'm trying to be smart. You know, when it comes to receiving money, I have to receive it in chunks. I, don't, I can't receive it all at once. I have to get, I have to get a system going. And if you're, not, if you're not thinking like that as an entrepreneur, you're going to fail, bro. You're either going to get caught up in taxes, you're going to save up your money, and half of it's going to get eaten up by the government. Whatever route you take, it's not going to be the right one. I'm telling you, brother. So you just got to think as an independent person. Maybe you need IRS agents in your group. Uh, I know a lot of IRS agents. <laughs> it's a very good way to get someone who's bad at business to not be in business. All right. We talked about money. Now let's go to the next subject that people want to know about women. women. Most of these motherfuckers can't hold down a bitch. And, and, and it really doesn't matter if I'm talking to the guy who's been married for five years and his fucking bitch is sucking someone else off every time he's at work. Or I'm talking to the so-called alpha male who's broke, who is fucking getting, you know, a sugar daddy, the so-called take care of him. Motherfuckers cannot hold down a woman anymore, man. What are your advice? Because you're a married man, just like me. You're holding down a woman. You don't worry about your woman doing anything, just like I right. don't. So what, what would you My tell these guys? My woman could be around fucking Leonardo DiCaprio, could be around Drake. You, you hear that? You hear that, Jeff Bezos? And she's not going to... She could be around Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos. She's not going to switch on anybody. She's nope. not going to switch on. She's not, bro, you think my wife is going to try and hook up with these guys? You realize, you realize that a real man can hold down a woman around anybody. If you have that ounce of insecurity, you a bitch. If you bring your girl around Drake and you're insecure that she's going to fuck him, you a bitch. You know, what, sorry, I'm you know what I'm doing? I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm telling my girl to fucking go fucking have jokes with Drake so I can fucking get in there exactly. and fucking do business arrangements. See, this is what real fucking players do. They're not worried about their fucking woman fucking sleeping around with somebody. Yep. They're not locking their fucking bitches up. They're taking them out with places with them because they know a beautiful woman will get them access to other things because men above all else appreciate female beauty. And because of that, if you have a dime piece, like I do, like my dude over here does, we didn't marry no ugly bitch, did we? We didn't marry no ugly woman, did we? God blessed us on that front. I'll mm -hmm. just say that. I got a mouthpiece for that, so I'll take that credit myself. We'll give the other shit to him. But when it comes down to it, you use your abilities that you have around you. And if one of those things is a badass woman, you use that to go places in life. I have no shame in my game to fucking say I have used my woman's good looks to get around billionaires. That's how it's supposed to be. And by the way, if you can't pull one, I don't know what to tell you because I've never had those problems.